Hi, I'm here with Andre Kalesha. He's my fitness trainer and we work a lot together when I'm working on speed, overall fitness, power, and he's the expert in this. He's worked with Olympic champion boxers, synchronized swimmers, track athletes, you name the sport, he's worked with the best. So I'm lucky enough to have him working with me these days and uh, he's a squash player also, so he certainly knows his stuff and uh, we're gonna run through a few exercises, what I do for my training and, uh, and he's gonna talk you through it, so Andre Kalesha. We'll start with medicine ball exercises for uh, fitness of squash player. Uh, with the character of anaerobic lactic uh, energy sources. Slippery ball. Lower on your leg. Try to lower. Yeah. Okay. Okay, switch. We do the first one for 30 seconds, then the t each leg for 30 right. seconds, and then you finish with this one for 30 seconds. Squash specific movement into a lunge using the weight of the medicine ball to create the power and strength. Those, are, those three medicine ball exercises are quite simple, but very effective. We use those, I think we're under duress for about two minutes, and we rest for 90 seconds in between, and we try to repeat that up to five times. Now we're off to the sit-up bench, and I'll show you a few more exercises for uh, some abs with the medicine ball. A few exercises for trunk, abdominal area, as well as uh, forearm, the wrist which is so important for squash player. <laughs> Throwing from the chest. From the chest. Instead of from over the head. Okay. All right. Switch. All right. A Ninety degrees elbow. That's it's right. another example of a specific exercise for squash player Faster. for forearm for supination and pronation. The more momentum you have, the more pressure it puts in the forearm. With this type of weight. If you don't happen to have uh, a nice weighted bar like that, you can also grab a dumbbell, keep your arm at 90 degrees. Forget that one. We'll cut that one. And then you just use the dumbbell. Let's go. One hand snatch with a specific lunge for squash player is helping to improve uh, speed and power in a specific movement. Single leg squat, excellent exercise for the strength development of uh, particular legs and also in, in both stabilizer in, in lower back as well as in legs. Should be good. You can add as much weight as you want to on the sides. I'm just going to use just a straight bar for a demonstration. But this is a pure 100% squash specific weight exercise. So I'm going to be lunging. A short lunge and a long lunge in three different directions. Very complex exercise when we engage uh, almost total body in, into that uh, legs, lower back, upper back, 
shoulders, all muscles involved in uh, squash techniques. Okay, all right. Aerobic preparation is essential for squash player. We're going to demonstrate aerobic of high power uh, exercises, which are sprints with intervals. Uh, we're talking about bouts of intensive running with uh, jogging for about 2 minutes 30 seconds and 1 minute rest and we can repeat up to 15 bouts of such an uh, exercise. The value of such an interval training is, is uh, good as long as the uh, heart rate of a uh, running athlete is uh, correspond to the heart rate of a squash player during the tough match. So uh, intensity have to be very high and around uh, uh, 90, 100 percent of heart rate of an individual. These are just a few of the things that uh, Andre and I work on in training, and uh, we ran through it very quickly. We usually do at least three sets of all the weights, three or four sets, and uh, we have a whole bunch of different varieties of stuff that we do. I've given you some of my favorite exercises to work on the weight training for the power and also the fitness training, the interval training, and uh, it's a quick overview, but there's certainly lots of ways you can expand this and take it in any direction. This uh, hopefully will help you increase your training, so uh, get to it.